Hey, what's up guys? Workout of the day, we have two pieces for today's work. We're gonna start with a little bit of gymnastics skills practice, and then we're gonna finish with a little quick workout. So here's what it looks like. Part A, gymnastic skills practice. We're gonna do five sets, 30 second wall facing handstand hold, and then 30 second hollow body hold. After that, you're gonna rest 90 seconds. So 30 seconds wall facing handstand hold, 30 second hollow body hold, 90 seconds rest. Okay, and we're working for quality here. Um, we wanna find, we wanna practice getting into the best positions that we possibly can. Okay, so um, on the wall facing handstand hold, if getting closer to the wall means that you're moving yourself closer to a position of overextension, then bring yourself a little bit farther from the wall. We shouldn't be having our hips or our thighs against the wall, only tiptoes should touch the wall and we're really focused on maintaining that ribs down, hollow position in our handstand holds, okay? Um, for part B, this is a relatively fast workout. We've got descending rep scheme, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, alternating between push press and hollow rocks. And then after each round, you're gonna do 30 double unders. So that would be 10 push presses, 10 hollow rocks, 30 double unders, nine push presses, nine hollow rocks, 30 double unders. And you're gonna con continue down the line until you finish with one of each of those movements and then 30 double unders to finish the workout, okay? Scaling this workout, we want to scale so that we're finishing this workout in hopefully less than 10 minutes. This is a workout that should take you less than 10 minutes if done properly. Um, prescribed weight on this is gonna be 95 pounds for men, 65 pounds for ladies. Okay, so the push press. Scale so you can do unbroken sets. The weight should feel light to moderate, not heavy. Um, barbell, if you have it, if you're going uh, dumbbell or kettlebell or single arm, you're gonna do 10 on the right and 10 on the left in that first round, and then in the next round you'll do nine on the right and nine on the left, so you'll get, you'll get to take care of both sides. That means that workout will take you a little bit longer than 10 minutes if you're doing single arm variations, but that's gonna be okay. Um, hollow rocks, again, looking for quality on that one. So you wanna make sure that you're able to maintain your nice, strong hollow position, and you're not moving into extension on that one. Make sure that you can keep that mid-back round the entire time and the rib cage tucked down. So do either fully extended hollow position, uh, hollow tuck rock, or if you need to, just do a 15 second hollow hold. And those are gonna be outlined in the specifics of the workout description and be on the whiteboard. Okay, um, double unders, if you got double unders, do the 30 double unders. If you don't have double unders, I'm just gonna recommend that you do single unders today. So 30 single unders is the substitute. Um, if you don't have a jump rope or you don't have enough space to jump rope in, you can do um, alternating toe taps on an elevated surface, 30 of those, or you can do 30 jumping jacks. Those would be perfectly appropriate, right? So have fun with this one. Practice those skills for quality and really hone in on that, uh, on that skill technique stuff. And then push your pace on this little quick watch. Should be a fun one. Have fun. We'll see you tomorrow.